Tompkins, great ball out the back, Charlie, bringing it ahead, great try, finds the hole for Casco, what a try, Tompkins, he's got Charlie with him, he's not going to need Charlie, outstanding try. Yeah, he's playing on the moment and you know, I, I want it to be 4 0. They will not want that. There's no one out there. He's going himself. He's got a bit of pace. He's got a bit of weight. He's got four points. And they've been shy of a bit of a uh, handbag. And yeah, I think everyone in our club's looking forward to these games. We, you know, we look at them on the schedule and you know, we really get up for them. Last tackle here. And roll over and maybe it's a 10 metres out. Finds Lomax again. Good step from Lomax. Gets the ball away. Try. Like every Saints was in Derby for the last 100 years, it'll be competitive and both teams will want to win. Sean, I know I spoke to you after the game on the, on the weekend and you were in a bit of a disbelief of how it all came to be, but uh, have you sat down and reviewed it now? Yeah, I have. I have Jack, yeah, it was, it, was a, you know, it, it was a good performance. The last 20 minutes, what we did was, was outstanding, you know, to come back, but um, there, was, there was the first 25 minutes when we went to our best and we let 26 points in which was just unacceptable and um, you know we're working on it this week we know the things we need to fix uh, we're up against a very talented St Helens team this Friday and if we make the same mistakes against them then we'll lose the game it's as simple as that you know it's a, it's a massive massive game for the club it's a big game for St Helens so we, we need to make sure that we concentrate and do the right thing at the right time. On my own it was about me getting through really it wasn't you know, it's about seeing how I win and you know, there's a lot of a long way to go for me to get to the form that I want to get to but you know I was just happy to get through it unscathed and and get away with the win, to be honest. And, and as a team, you know, a bit of the same, really. I thought we got through the game, but I thought we didn't play as well in patches as we could and as we have in the past, so we still got a lot to work on. So, Mike, how happy does a, does nil in a team over the weekend make you? Yeah, yeah, no, it's good. I think um, we've done it a few times this year and, and, and when defensively we're at, the, at that level that we were at weekend, then it obviously it is pleasing from a coaching point of view. And, um, London had just rattled up 60 odd points the week before against Warrington, albeit the week before the Challenge Cup, but still, you know, had rattled up some points. So to keep them to nail and, and to put the, the to do as well defensively as we did with our kick pressure and keeping them in their own 20 was was real pleasing. After the match, I think Mike went on record and said, you know, you got you were the man of the match for him. And how much does that mean? Does that sort of spur you on to do the same same sort of stuff again? Yeah, it does. Yeah, I think I think it's, it's always nice to be picked out with some praise off your coach and. Hopefully, hopefully I did earn it, and uh, I, I, I thought I've had a good game. Uh, hopefully, I can uh, carry on with the with the good form into the next couple of games and see how it goes. When you're coaching any team, when the players are playing, they want to achieve um, the highest possible um, finish that they can, and for us, that would be third. So, so we go into this game wanting to get two points. And when you took over, you were down there in tenth, I think, and uh, you brought them all the way up to third position. Is that something you take a lot of pride in now? Um, Obviously, yeah, you're proud of, of what, what's happened, but the players really take the, the majority of that credit because it's, it's themselves that have to look at them, you know, in the mirror and say, what do we need to do and, and where are we sat and what are we doing? So, um, you know, it's a collective effort. Um, Kieran Cunningham and, and all the other staff involved at the club, um, they also need to take a lot of pride in what we've done. And, uh, it is good, um, but we need to finish the job on Friday and try and get that third spot. We want to win every time we play against them. And you know, they're no different, you know, I'm pretty sure they're going to be pretty motivated with what's happened this year and, and, and you know, we're not expecting them to come out lightly, you know, it's going to be a, a massive game and I think maybe the hardest, the hardest one we've had to play them this year so far. A few players coming back through in recent weeks and uh, how, how's that injury list looking now? Well, Stu Fielding's available, Gil Dutch is available, Chris Tuchin's available. So in the, in the middles where I want the most um, competition for places, we're looking very, very strong. So I've got some edits to make on my, on my team selection this week, but you know we'll be putting a few players in what I've not played for a long time, and that's what makes sense of favourites. It's going to be uh, fireworks, I think. Um, it's going to be a very uh, electric uh, field down at DW, so hopefully we can go there and get the win. This this week you're wearing the Johnny Jack shirts and something that rugby league's really got behind and it's good for Saints to get behind. Yeah, it's brilliant. We're, we're more than um, delighted to be involved and helping out where we can. Chris Radlinski approached the club a while ago to ask if we could make this a, a special occasion for the Johnny Jack. Um, and we're more than happy to help and I think the rugby league family really shows its true colours at times. Um, like this, and obviously it's a really difficult situation, but um, anything we can do as a club, we'll be, we'll be delighted to help.
Then. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's what the Rugby League family is all about. No matter who, who you support and where your your, uh, your loyalties lie, we still all come come back and, and get behind charities like this. And same with Bradford, we all got behind Bradford when they was in trouble. And, and that's what makes us the best game in the world. There's no question about that. Andy Johnson, what his family's been through, I can't imagine. And uh, if we can make any benefit to his, his charity this week, then it, it would be great.